Denise and I are here today at Gamescom Asia, which is the satellite event of Gamescom, which is the biggest video game festival in the world. We are going to be getting to meet one of the event organizers and be her interns for a day. Yes, so we're going to be doing three challenges, so let's go now and meet our new boss. Okay. Okay, so we're here now with one of the key event organizers and her name is... Jasmine! Jasmine, okay, hello Jasmine. So, hello. Uh, today Jasmine is our boss. She's mm. going to be issuing the challenges what are you and doing? judging our challenges. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, okay. just want you to remember that I'm the better intern. Lah, huh? How long have you been working in the mice industry? It's been 16 years. <gasps> so, I first joined the wow. industry wow. Yep, when I graduated. I'm not sure like where, where do I want to go. Looking at how the concerts are being um, organized mm. and F1s are being mm. organized. Mm. I think that was like really, really interesting. So it's like by chance I joined mm. events as a coordinator. That's where I learned all the fundamentals of the industry. Over the years, like the past 10 years, we've been doing a lot of executional stuff and all the way until now, it's like um, as an operations director with mm. Color Mesa. So we are ready for our first challenge. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, <laughs> please issue us. What is today's first challenge? Well, you guys know today is the teardown of the trade zone, right? Communication is very key to the entire stakeholders of this event. Mm. Yes. So, here you go. I need you guys to actually remember this um, schedule on hand. Memorize. Yes, that's right. Because you have to do a briefing to your mm. staff later. Okay. 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 Excuse me, I'm on my way to win. I actually don't understand what half of this means. 6 p.m. start removal of exhibits. So it's first that exhibits. Exhibits by exhibitors. You know, in order to win, right, it means that my competitor needs to lose. So let's go and distract a net. But the dismantling of stands can start earlier now. No, no, it starts from 6.30. No, stand dismantling. No, no, removal. So what's Everything the move all by one hour. Why everything move? What are you talking about? <laughs> So yeah, I'll be giving you guys the teardown schedule for today. Mm -hmm. uh, so from 6pm onwards is when you should start to tear down already. So all the exhibits by the exhibitors should be removed by 6pm. And then 6.30pm onwards should be um, the power off time, which is when you disconnect from all the connections. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. And then um, stands dismantled and uh, debris all cleared and removed by 11.59pm. Was that, was that clear? Very clear. Thank you. Okay everybody, so we know today is a very important day. It's our tear down day, okay? So we need to be very careful about what's happening later. So I'm going to be briefing you all from 6pm onwards. It's going to be removal of all the exhibitions by the exhibitors and hand carry only. And then after that... Anyway, that's not important. What's important is that, ladies and gentlemen, every ending is a chance for a new beginning and so every teardown is a chance for a new setup which is why teardown is very important and later on we need to remember that for tomorrow's setup we need to tear down and clear the hall by 6 a.m. Okay, so is everybody ready for a brighter tomorrow? Okay, tear down, three, one, two, three, tear down! Wow. Okay, so we just finished the first challenge. Very yes. tired, right? Boss, you want to drink water? Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. She didn't okay. even say anything. So never mind. Let's just find out who won. Okay, yeah, we'll find out who won. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just now, I was saying you need to have clarity and you need to be a little bit more motivational. And you know, mm. in terms of like how you deliver. So of course, the winner goes to Annette <laughs> because she has she actually has really good communication. You know, keeping it clear and concise. And shorts, right? Exactly. Okay, but that's okay because mm. we still got two more challenges, so I can still mm -hmm. win overall to be the king in turn. Can you tell mm -hmm. us what the next challenge is gonna be? Hmm, okay, so the next challenge, you know, maintaining relationships with our stakeholders and exhibitors are really important. So this is for you guys. Free! Each of you are going to get three coupons and you your job is to really distribute this to our stakeholders or our exhibitors. So it's not communication lah, this round. And of course, you have to be professional I mean, in the <laughs> I mean, okay. it's not in the judging okay. criteria, but we should mm -hmm. still be nice. I am mm -hmm. nice, in fact. Exactly, <laughs> you are nice. You got confidence in me? Of course. And you too. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> Maintaining yeah, relations. <laughs> We've each been given the names of the three vendors we have to visit. So we're going to start ready? now. Yes, I'm ready. 
Okay, no wait, this is mine! Don't take my tag, there's two, yeah? <laughs> Jason here. Uh, I'm here to All give right. you a free drinks coupon okay. for your hard work. Thank you Thank very you. much. Hi, sorry. Is there a Darren here? Yes, hello. I nice to meet you. Nice so meet I'm you. going around to give out this for your hard work. Wow. It's a free drinks coupon for you, so Thank enjoy you yourselves. So okay, high five all the boys. Okay. okay, sorry, I'm okay. rushing off. Are you Darren? Yes, I'm Darren. Oh, I'm Annette. Nice to meet you. This is for you. It's a drink coupon. Wow. Can I try the hat? I love it. I'm sorry. It's okay. Don't put that in the edit. Did someone already give you a, a coupon? Yes. Ha! Okay, bye. Oh no, I got too distracted with the hat. Hi. Sorry, do you Hi. know a Joe? Yeah. Oh, Joe is over there behind the corner. Hi, Joe. Nice to meet you. I've been instructed to give you this for all your hard work. Oh, really? Yes. Thank Joe, you very much for being here. <laughs> of course. Okay, see you later. I can't even find the third location. Hi, sorry. Are you Joe? Yes. This is a drink coupon another for you. One. Yes, another one. Brilliant. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you so much, yes. Joe. Thank you. Bye bye. I'm not even going to wake her up. I'm just going to leave her here. She thinks she's making fun of me, but she's actually making a fool of her own self. So. What, is it night time already? Everyone is staring at you. Is it night time already? Everyone is staring. Everyone was, everyone was giving you weird I looks. think I slept for four hours because you were so slow. Eh. I'm not talking to you anymore. She's all loser. She don't talk to me. I can't find the last place. Okay, so Jasmine, actually I have a question. Which is mm -hmm. that when we were running around inside, it's mm -hmm. such a big event space. Where do you actually begin to start <laughs> organising? Wow. Gamescom Asia has started since 2018. 2018? Yes, like that's five right. five years ago. Alright, because in order to bring in the event into Singapore, it takes a lot of um, efforts and time to really um, negotiate and communicate to our important like associations. And we have ex internal stakeholders, we have external stakeholders. There are so many people that we have to talk to. Behind all this, there's the organisational skills, the technical skills. Three years ago, four years ago is our standard planning time. It must yeah. be such a team effort because it's so big, they need to pull together so many people, right? So your right. team must be really very busy as well <laughs> for the past 2-3 years. Of course, of course. Other than having exhibitors, and on our, on our side, it's like we have the stand builders, we have the freight forwarders, the venue management, there are so many, so many other people that we worked with. Every single thing that you see in an events ground, there is someone working behind it. Has Gamescom mm. been a new challenge for you in any way? It definitely is because um, I think this year is the first year that we actually introduced the B2C elements into the show. So having both the trade and the entertainment zones overlapping on a single day is really challenging in terms of things that we need to manage. There's a lot of um, skills that's required to put together the same group of officials into two different events right. on a common venue. Okay, so now it's time for me to win the third for challenge. Me, win it, Can you tell actually. us what the challenge is going to be? Yes. Right. As event organisers, we are also first to think on our feet. So right now, we have a situation. A VIP has arrived okay. and we have promised him a bottle of Spanish wine. Okay. But our vendors are not here yet. What are you going to do? We're still getting wine. Okay, sure. <laughs> Okay, so my strategy was run first, thing later. Okay, I tried to ask people inside but then they cannot find wine but that's okay, I have just the two with me. Aha! Does anybody know where I can find wine? What's the number again? 621? Sorry, this is not wine chef I guess. Okay, according to my map, I'm one minute away. There! Sorry, excuse me, my friendly neighbourhood spider man Do you know where I can find a bottle of Spanish wine? Uh... I'm halfway back already and I still have not seen Denise. So, I have a good feeling about this. What tired, say. I have no idea where Annette go to find wine, but I... What should I do? So, 
30 minutes is up. So what's the solution that you you guys have? Okay, I go first. Okay. I ran around for quite a bit, but I didn't manage to find a bottle of wine. But mm -hmm. I heard that this guest is Christian. So I brought him a bottle of water and I will very nicely explain to him that Jesus can turn water into wine. What? Amen. Yeah, this is blasphemy! Okay, what you have? What you have? I unfortunately just kidding! <gasps> I want a bottle of wine! What I did was I just mm. ran downstairs and bought a bottle of wine. Right. Alright. That makes so much sense. Right. So the winner I guess is Yes, I mean, of course, obviously, it's a net. But Denise, I think you also had a very good initiative to actually approach the experts. Okay. So, good challenge. Yeah, yes, it's a good challenge. Thank you, thank you. And who knows, maybe actually this guy really would appreciate your joke. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. I mean, obviously, we've only been here for half a day, but we've mm -hmm. really done quite a lot. I'm sure there's so much more that goes into event planning. Mm -hmm. What is it that keeps you going after all these years, mm -hmm. 16 years mm -hmm. and counting? Wow. It's really about the passion for the industry, bring a plan to life mm. because the planning of an event is really one year or two years before the show and all this planning takes a lot of effort, a lot of time and seeing our exhibitors, stakeholders and as well as the visitors happy. I think we have really, this is, this is the kind of reward that we want to see at every end of the event. Right. So, so imparting of our knowledge and our skills to the interns and um, you know the young people of the industry. All these um, skills that they pick up and after they find all the interest, right, it's very rewarding for all of us um, to see how they grow within the industry. We have a lot of interns coming back to, to the industry again to really further their, their career and that is the kind of uh, future that we really want to see for the industry. I think last but not least, something that's really interesting is the upskilling, overseas studies trips and wow. yes, and also opportunities to travel for events and to work with external stakeholders from outside, you know, from all over the world. I think that's something that really gives me the passion to keep on trying and learning and it's, it's, it's never ending. Okay. okay, so do you have anything else for us to do before we end our day? Well, you girls did really well, so I think that's the end of the day for you guys. Have a break! Thank Yay, you very much for joining you. us as well. Nice thank to meet thank you. you. Okay, so we've come to the end of our mini internship. Hopefully, we didn't bother Jasmine too much. But I mean, what we've done today is just experience a tiny part of the mice industry and I can only imagine the amount of work that actually goes on behind the scenes. So really, props to everyone involved. Exactly. So what we experienced in the last few hours was really just the tip of the iceberg. But I can imagine lah, I can imagine that if we do this for many, many, many years, it can be really very rewarding and also very fun. So if you are interested in a career in the mice industry as well and you don't know where to start, you can find out more in the link below. And of course, a big thank you to Singapore Tourism Board for sponsoring today's video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!